get the camera to balance. Hello. Shalom. Good morning, aliens. It is sunny today in Tel Aviv. I still can't believe I'm in Israel. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually here. <laughs> We're not going to the beach. Oh, I still have that horrible cold that I came here with. It's not great. I wanted to get a crepe for my breakfast, but um, the crepe shop is uh, closed. So I'm gonna have one later <laughs> instead because I can't have one now. Just chilling with my fresh lemonade that uh, they make at the hostel. I think they make it at the hostel. It looks like they do. Today is a shopping day and I've decided that I'm just gonna live a little bit and I'm not gonna worry about how much things cost within reason. I really want to get some souvenirs. I wanna get my holiday pins that I usually get and I wanna get a few gifts for friends and I don't want to leave Israel feeling like I could have bought more like because a lot of the stuff here you can't buy anywhere else like a lot of it is actually made in Israel so I want to like buy things that aren't just souvenirs like buy things that I will like use back home because I won't be able to buy them back home I'm going to take out 200 shekels which is about 40 pounds so it's not that much and I already have 100 in my purse so I have like 300 that I can spend and that's just for today like I just want to shop today and then I'll be careful with my money for the for the next two days after today. Today's outfit of the day is this top. My sister gave it to me actually. Look at these lines, yo. <laughs> and that is for one day walking around Tel Aviv. Um, and I have my skinny jeans on and I've turned them up at the bottom because it's kind of like fashionable. I don't even know if you can see. So it's like fashionable to turn them up at the bottom and then I have some flamingo socks and my little shoes. We're gonna head back to that scary market that we went to yesterday. Like we just went through it very, very briefly. The girls I met on the vegan food tour yesterday, uh, Jenny and Nora, I think their names were, and they recommended me a really nice mall to go to. So we're gonna go there as well. Since I won't have any vegetables or fruit today, probably apart from like I might get a juice like later, but um, I decided to get a fruit salad for breakfast just so I can get in my nutrients early in the day. I don't know. Looks good, right? that we passed yesterday and I just want to show you my absolute bargain I'm actually over the moon so I got this for 35 shekels I tried to get him down to 30 but he wasn't having any of it the original price was 40 so I think like 35 you know that's that's a modest discount of um, one pound ten that we got on there but honestly I'm so happy with this it's freaking beautiful and it matches my tattoo I think it's official that I have fallen in love with that market. So I just spent 20 shekels in one shop and I got two packs of biscuits and four chocolate bars. Yeah, I think I'm pretty set on the like snack front. So I had the fruit for breakfast and I wanted to ask for a croissant with it, but like the lady she like walked away and I was like too scared to go and ask for one. So I'm gonna find something else to eat because fruit doesn't keep you full for very long. And I wanted to get a coffee today, but like I don't feel like it. I wanna drink some fruit. I wanna drink some more fruit. I've basically just gone around in a big circle, but I thought, you know, I'm really close to the hostel. So I'm gonna go there, drop off my snacks, ready for tomorrow and the next day. Because tomorrow I'm doing a tour and and there isn't like lunch provided so I've got to take something to eat with me. I'm gonna use the bathroom and then text my mum just to make sure she knows that I'm not dead. So I don't really know what malls look like. This is this is uh, very very large. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Like I don't need to buy any more clothes. I don't need anything really. But I do want to have lunch here. Although when I was walking here, I saw like a little like sushi place, and I haven't had sushi in like two weeks. So I could do with some sushi right now. Five floors to 
this mall and then outside behind me there's like a little rooftop terrace bit so on this last floor all there is really is like a bakery there's a bridge to a whole nother building <laughs> um, so yeah you can you can buy your drink and your sandwich from the bakery and then eat it outside on the rooftop terrace which is what I'm about to do I think okay I don't know what's going on here are they building like a Playmobil park I think that's what they're doing there's like a little roller coaster and Lego men everywhere I'm unsure why you need a building that high, really. But this is the outside bit to the mall that I was just telling you about. Okay, dudes, I really want fries and I really want beer, but I can't read Hebrew and I can't order, and uh, it's stressing me out slightly. <laughs> This has got to be the cutest McDonald's I've ever seen. Good afternoon, aliens. It is currently about 10 to 4. I made my way back to like the town part of Tel Aviv. Um, Allenby Street is well known for being like cheap, fast fashion kind of boutique shops. So I've had a look around there and um, I went into a shop and tried on five tops. And the only one that fit me was the one that I didn't like the most and was the most expensive. So I was like, no, no, not today, not today. I want to get a few souvenirs as well. I still haven't found any pins, um, my travel pins. I still haven't found them. Hopefully I will find them, even though the camel market will probably be very busy now, but I'm still going to try anyway. And right, I haven't seen any beer anywhere, apart from like you buy it from a supermarket, but I haven't seen a pub. Where are the pubs, Israel, huh? Also, check this out. This is uh, very, very sore right now. I should have invested in some sunscreen, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Let's go to the camel market. Hello, aliens. Can you see me? Because I can't, I can't see anything. It is very, very sunny. I'm just chilling on Banana Beach for a bit. But um, I want to show you one of the snacks I bought at the market. I literally, I cannot see anything. I might as well be blind. I found these Ritz crackers, and if you know me, IRL, uh, you know that I love Ritz crackers, but they've got freaking peanut butter in them. I'm not going to open them now because I bought them for tomorrow's road trip. But yeah, I just wanted to show you because I think that's, that's really cool, and we definitely haven't got these in the UK just yet. And I want to formally make a petition to, to get Ritz peanut butter in the UK because I feel like we all need it in our lives, and I'm not sure how I've survived this long without it. Not that I'm being dramatic or anything. And also, I've had three different dairy milk chocolate things. And the dairy milk chocolate, it just doesn't taste right here. It doesn't taste like, like Cadbury's dairy milk. But it's in the same wrapper and it's like two of the things I had were like not in the UK. Yeah, no, it just doesn't taste right. So I don't know what's up with that. There's my little, my little food update for y'all. shop I wanted to get a crepe from um, over there uh, it uh, was closed this morning so I couldn't have one this morning and then this evening I went there and um, I went over there and they didn't have any left so I found this one instead this one is called Eldo and it's like just literally across the road from the other one and he actually recommended that I come here because he didn't have any left and I have my Nutella crepe fun fact I have never actually bought a crepe before <laughs> <laughs> like obviously I know what it tastes like it's a pancake with Nutella on it but um, at like food markets and like food festivals and like the Christmas market that we have in Lincoln I've bought like churros and like chips but I've never actually bought a crepe because I thought there was a waste of money but I just this is what my body needs right now so I'm gonna eat it and you're gonna watch me see moments like this where I need my tripod but I haven't got it how are you supposed to eat a crepe how are you it's like envelope okay it's very very warm and it hurts my hands ah, right i didn't have to do this i'm gonna end up eating through the cardboard that is very good just what i needed just what i needed she asked me if there was enough nutella on it and um me not wanting to be little miss piggy i was like yeah that's fine <laughs> 
And my mind was screaming, no more Nutella, more Nutella. Let's try this, I'm gonna open it. Right, this is gonna be a disaster. I'll show you what I've done. She is naked. She is naked. People are starting to give me funny looks um, because I'm basically, well like, if they can't see the table, I look like I'm talking to a prep, which I basically am, let's face it. I'm gonna eat this in solitude now, bye bye. It might be that I haven't had Nutella in bloody ages because of the palm oil. Um, I only have it on special occasions now because I don't want to add to the awful industry. Um, the Nutella here is better than the Nutella in the UK. Like, it tastes better, but the dairy milk tastes worse. I don't understand. Why is there no standard sizing? Standard foodness. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the Nutella is better here, but the dairy milk is worse.